Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create ambient background and beautiful animation effect by using video footage and layer blending mode. It's very easy and time-saving. Let's start with the resource preparing. In this tutorial, I will create a bokeh background for my character. The bokeh is blur background when someone takes a photo with distance between object and background. The focused object will be more sharpened. If the focus is on the background, the character will be blur. And if the focus is on the character, the background will be blur. So, I prepare a character with simple color and shadow. And a blur background. I use image material from Clip Studio Assets to create this simple background. The links to the assets are in the video description. And the video footage. The video footage for effect that can be used in Clip Studio must have the black or white background, so it's worked with Clip Studio blending mode. You may download the footage from YouTube, stock platform, film or make it by yourself, but it has to be supported format by the video import feature for Clip Studio. For window version, AVI, MP4, and QuickTime format. For Mac OS, iPad, iPhone, QuickTime and MP4 format. And for Android and Chromebook, it's only MP4 format. I've prepared the light and snow effect for this tutorial. Let's start the finishing process. Create a new canvas for putting everything on the scene. I use the video preset and set the playback time to 1200 for 40 seconds of 30 fps animation. The animation preset will give you a safe border, timelines with your setting, and the animation folder. Delete the animation folder because we are not gonna use it here. Import the character and the background, go to file, import, create file object, select both file and open. You will see the character object is with white background, you must go back to the original file and delete the paper layer. Save the file and it will automatically update on the scene. Adjust the object size and position with the object tool. You can see that the character pop out from the background. The blending mode will help add light reflection to the character to make her blend in with the background. I will add the ambient light first with color correction layer. Select the character layer. Go to layer, new correction layer, and gradient map. Click OK. You can see the correction layer will appear above the character layer. We want the effect to apply only on the character. Click the clip layer icon to clip it on the character object layer. Then, double click on the layer thumbnail. You can see there is a small pointer under the gradient bar. On the right side is the lighter color tone and on the left side is the darker color tone of the image. Click on the pointer and use the eyedropper tool. Pick the majority light color on the background to replace the lighter tone of the character. And on another side, pick the darkest color on the background. Now it's time for layer blending mode. You can set the blending mode from drop down list on the layer panel. Set it to darker mode and lower the opacity down. The character is now having the reflection of the ambient light. You can reduce the ambient light on some part of the character by clicking on the mark thumbnail of the correction layer and use the soft eraser to erase it. You can add another light to the character too. Create a new raster layer, clip it, and paint with the light color you want. Set the layer mode to Add Glow. This makes the light color become vivid. Adjust the opacity down and paint the rim light on some detail. For the shadow, I do the same but with the linear burn layer mode.
To edit the background color tone, I use the correction layer in tone curve mode. You can adjust the graph to add value to overall or specific color. It's very useful. Now it's time for the footage effect. I put the layers for character and background into a group folder to avoid confusion. I will add the snow footage on the top. Select the most top folder. Click on the first frame. Go to File. Import. Movie. The snow footage will be inserted to the canvas. But you can see that it starts from empty scene. I want it to start from fully snow scene. I seek it from the timeline. When select at the frame, the video preview is also appear on the canvas. I will start the snow footage from this point, right click on the timeline of video layer and split clip. Click on the header area of the video timeline to select all bar, right click and delete. Then. Click on the header bar of the timeline and drag it to frame 1. Set the layer blending mode to add. And now it's no. This mode works when you want to add the effect that is not need to be glowing on the screen. It will replace the dark value with the value from the background. For the snow that have only white and black, this mode simply replace the black color with the background. Let's apply another footage. Before, you have to lock and hide the layer with video object above because the object tool may accidentally move it. Import the light for Christmas tree. This time, I will show you how to apply the video footage on specific area. With object tool, you can rotate the footage. I set the blending mode to add glow for the light effect. You can adjust the footage on each corner individually by setting mode in the tool property panel to free transform. To delete some part of the footage, you can do it with masking feature. Right click on the footage layer, layer mask, and mask selection. Click on the mask thumbnail to work on it. Then, Use the soft eraser to erase the footage on the canvas. You can adjust the color of the footage with the layer blending mode too. I set the layer blending mode of the footage back to normal and put it in the folder. Create a new raster layer, set the mode to color, and paint the color with soft airbrush. This blending mode will simply add the color value on the layer below. Click on the folder and change the blending mode to add glow. The effect of the layer blending mode will be moderated by the group hierarchy. It will only apply in layers in the same group unless you set the blending mode of the folder to true. You can see the effect is gone at some point. It's because the footage playback time is shorter than the scene. In this case, my footage is a loop of the light. I will just extend it. Right click on the header of the timeline. Copy. Then right click on the next frame and paste. Repeat the step until the end. And we are done with the glittering light on the tree. It's very easy. Let's make the footage with the phone camera. I saw a very beautiful Christmas decoration at the lobby of my apartment. Hey Sandra, may I borrow your decoration light? Ha ha ha, okay. I put the light on my black t-shirt and put the phone camera on the stand to avoid shaking. The light is not so blur. But I have a magical item, the transparent folder. And here is the footage from camera. Import the footage to the canvas and set the layer mode to add glow. 
you can see the effect is too bright and if you reduce the opacity, it will become less shiny and blurry. This happened because the background of the footage is not in black color. You can easily fix this in Clip Studio using correction layer, brightness contrast mode. Apply more contrast will add more black value on the background. Put the layer in the group folder and set the layer mode to add glow. I also mask the footage to show only on the background and adjust the opacity to reduce the light volume. You will see the animation of the light is missing from the character. I copy the video footage folder and put it above the character. Click on the masking thumbnail and push delete button. Then. Use the soft airbrush to paint on the character and reduce the opacity of the folder and it's done. Using video footage is fun. I hope my tutorial gives you some idea for using footage in your art. Have fun!